Thank you very much. And good morning, everyone. My name is Yasuto Watanabe from the University of Tokyo in Japan, and I'm a PhD student in University of Tokyo, and we are working with these people. And so today I'd like to talk about the global carbon cycle in the early Earth. So in the early Earth, especially in the Archean, the, uh, from 4 billion years ago to the 2.5 billion years ago, the solar luminosity was just around 80% relative to present. On the other hand, this figure shows the reconstructed seawater temperature, and which suggests that in the early, in the early Earth, the surface temperature was warm or, warm or even hot environment exceeding 50 degrees. So to achieve such a warmer or hot environment under the Dima sun, uh, greenhouse gases are considered to be necessary. Uh, so the most greenhouse, uh, most plausible greenhouse gas is uh, carbon dioxide, but uh, to warm the past, uh, to warm the past, uh, to warm the past surface temperature much warmer than the present. Uh, uh, CO2. Yeah, only uh, CO2 is not uh, only CO2. Uh, only with CO2, uh, ah, sorry, ah, sorry, yeah. only, only with uh, to achieve such a warmer environment, only with CO2 is difficult in the range of a reconstructed past CO2 temperature. So and another greenhouse gas that is uh, comp considered to be compensated is uh, the insufficient green, greenhouse warming is missing. Missing is produced by the methanogens in the early ocean, and uh, in the early ocean, and oh, mm, it's uh, produced by the microbiology in the early ocean, decomposing the organic carbon. But missing is a highly reactive, uh, photochemically reactive species, so that to achieve high missing level in the atmosphere, a much amount of missing should be produced from the ocean. So in the areas, uh, anoxic areas, the balance between CO uh, to, uh, balance between CO two and CO and missing was different from the present condition. So to consider the climate stability in the areas, we need to consider not only the CO two cycle but also the cycle of missing and warming by missing. So we investigate the global carbon budget and carbon cycle under the anoxic early Earth system in the aquarium by developing a coupled model of atmosphere photochemistry and marine microbial ecosystem and global carbon cycle. And this is a schematic of the model we developed. And as you can see, we calculate the photochemical processes and marine microbial reactions in the context of the global carbon cycle. So we explain each part of the model briefly. So for the photochemical part, mod, model part, we use the Atmos model, a one-dimensional photochemical model, if it is identical to the last that last speaker used. And so I don't uh, explain the detail, but uh, using this model, we can calculate the vertical structure of many species and the uh, balance between them like this. So uh, under, on this photochemical model, we uh, further introduce the chemical reaction pathway of the marine microbial ecosystem, and we as, as a lower boundary condition, and uh, we assume the hydrogen-based and iron-based photosynthesis as a primary producer of the anoxic environment, and we also considered the acetogen, which uses carbon monoxide uh, as an electron donor. So, uh, uh, and we assume that their activity is uh, uh, limited by the supply of each electron donor. So we also uh, consider the activity by heterotrophs that who uh, decomposes the organic carbon. So as you can see this re in these reactions, the primary producers consume CO2 while others produce CO2. Right, so we consider s a such photochemical and microbial reactions in the context of the global carbon cycle. So in the anoxic areas condition, the uh, carbon dioxide produced by degassing is considered to be balanced by the consumption by barrier of organic carbon and the net barrier of inorganic carbon, that is uh, continental weathering and seafloor weathering. And here we introduce the balance of the ecosystem reactions and photochemical reactions into this balance of, equip of equation. By calculating the necessary flux, uh, necessary weathering flux uh, to achieve this balance of equation, we can get the equilibrium CO2 level and seawater tem uh, surface temperature. So we move on to the results section. And first of all, we, I show the result without seafloor weathering. And uh, on the last slide, I show the result with seafloor weathering. 
So this is a result. And this figure shows this atmospheric CO2 missing and surface temperature uh, on different CO2 degassing rate. As you can see, we simultaneously estimated both the atmospheric CO2 and missing at the same time, consistently. And as you can see, on shaded area, there is a multiple equilibrium exist. One is hot climate mode, uh, which has a high CO2 emission level, and the other is cold climate mode, which is an unstable solution, unstable equilibrium state. And so why this low CO2 condition is unstable? To assess this, uh, to understand this, I see the each item of the CO2 consumption processes. And so this is a left figure I showed, but the uh, horizontal axis was CO2 degassing, but on the balance, uh, on equilibrium, it is balanced by the CO2 consumption. So if we switch the axis, the new vertical axis corresponds to the CO2 consumption that is balanced by CO2 degassing. And if we plot the uh, different processes of CO2 consumption, as you can see, uh, on hot climate mode, the consumption by continental weathering is uh, dominant, which is uh, equilibrium by Walker feedback. On the other hand, on unstable cold climate state, uh, the uh, consumption by a coupled system of photochemical reactions and marine microbial reactions are dominant. So, and associated with consumption, on these conditions, the hydrocarbon haze that can be seen in the Titan's atmosphere is formed in the atmosphere. So, so then, so it is associated with consumption. So I explain this. So first of all, I explain the photochemical CO2 consumption. So this figure shows the net CO2 consumption uh, in the atmosphere by photochemical reactions. And as you can see, on any condition, CO2 is consumed in the atmosphere. This large consumption flux uh, is actually com compensated by the net microbial CO2 production from the ocean, especially in the uh, hot climate stable solution. But there is a still an imbalance in the uh, anox anoxic unstable so hazy solution. So and, uh, this imbalance is equal to the pr production and removal of hydrocarbon aerosol in the atmosphere. So, I explain this using a reaction a schematic of the reaction pathway. So first of all, I explain the CO2 consumption in the atmosphere. In the atmosphere, CO2 is photodissociated into CO, and CO reacts with hydroxy radical in the lower atmosphere to form CO2. Usually, this is balanced, but under anoxic archaean condition, the strong missing flux from the ocean by microbiology consumes, uh, consumes the hydroxy radical in the lower atmosphere, so that this reaction does not proceed uh, that much. So that, uh, as a result, the uh, atmospheric reaction works as a net photochemical uh, CO2 consumption on any condition. So, and this large co consumption flux is compensated by uh, the reaction by acetogens and methanogens. However, uh, on not hazy condition, but once hazy is formed in the atmosphere, um, part, of the missing, uh, part of the missing is uh, converted to hydrocarbon uh, aerosol particles and they settle down in the atmosphere and finally removed by rain and enters the ocean and sinks into the ocean by internal waves. So, uh, as a result, uh, part of the dissociated CO2 is converted to CO and missing and hydrocarbon haze and removed from the atmosphere ocean system. So that uh, removal, uh, formation of haze works as um, a CO2. Uh, formation of haze leads to the decrease in CO2 level. So once CO2 level is decreased, the atmosphere gets more reducing, so that haze formation is enhanced. And so this feedback mechanism works as a positive feedback in the climate system. So making the system, uh, so making this, so this makes the system unstable regardless of the optical properties of the haze particle. Mm. And as a result, on low CO2 condition, uh, CO2 is consumed in the coupled system of photochemistry and marine microbial reactions. So that there's a characteristic, characteristic shape like a valley, 
uh, on CO2 consumption, and you, if you switch the axis again, uh, you get uh, characteristic shapes of equilibrium. So uh, finally, if we consider the uncertainty in the parameter, especially uh, the weathering, uh, continental uh, weathering efficiency, the equilibrium can be <laughs> represented like this. Uh, as a result, in the uh, anoxic Archean, uh, in the anoxic Archean NAS, the hot climate mode and the globally frozen state is the only stable solution. And the present climate state uh, is under hazy, unstable solution. So, and the hot reconstruction, uh, warm reconstruction by phosphate or e even hot reconstruction by charts uh, could be achieved on a present CO2 degassing. CO2 degassing rate, and and if the CIFRA weathering is effectively working as David suggests, and uh, the surface temperature does not exceed 40 degrees Celsius, uh, but the, our main conclusion that uh, so, but our main conclusion that the uh, anoxic hazy condition is unstable is unchanged, so. And this is a summary. Uh, so my take home message is that anoxic hazy condition in the early Earth is unstable. Uh, thank you very much. What exactly do you mean by hazy? Ah, sorry, I didn't explain, but uh, in the Highly anox anoxic at reducing atmosphere like uh, that of Titan, the hydro haze that is composed of hydrocarbon particles are composed in the uh, higher altitude of the atmosphere. So, uh, I mean, that's one. Uh, I just have a comment, which is that. Uh, Earlier this year, with Kevin Zanley, we published a paper about mm. xenon fractionation, how that's related to ah. hydrogen escape and right. methane yeah. levels. And um, one of the kind of conclusions, which may be a little bit hidden in that paper, is that mm. for the most part, we don't think that the early Earth could have been hazy because that messes up. It, it affects up. the xenon isotope fractionations mm. because xenon can be taken oh. up into organic uh, haze particles. So that would support your conclusion oh, so that for most of the time mm. it must have been a haze-free atmosphere. Mm. All right, thank you very much. Right. Ah, yeah, thank you. Uh, this this one? Yeah. Oh, right. So, mm. so um, if haze is not formed in the atmosphere, the CO2 consumption by photochemical processes is balanced by uh, this pathway by uh, microbiological reactions. But if haze is formed in the atmosphere, the part of the this, uh, so CO2 is uh, dissociated into CO first, and this CO is converted to methane to form hydrocarbon haze. So that part of the uh, a part of the this pathway is depleted because this pathway is effective. So I got that, but why why can't haze get onto the ocean? Like that? Uh, so after it is removed into the ocean. Yeah, why is it on the ah, so. Uh, uh, yeah, that's a very good question, but and it is uh, because this is so much reduced hydrocarbon, and to uh, on present ocean condition, uh, basically oxygen is necessary to um, decompose such uh, reduced hydrocarbon. So uh, we think that uh, so. Uh, uh, on anoxic condition, the hydrocarbon haze is difficult to be decomposed. But uh, I think that partly, uh, it, it's, I think it is partly decomposed 
uh, to some extent. And so that, that's a um, very important point. So I will assess about it. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs>